All right, so we are playing Call of the Blue, and we're doing kind of a pickup game where um, these are going to be episodic, and it's Gaslight, where uh, people can kind of jump in and jump out as they want. Um, you're all part of a secretive um, fraternal order, which has just recently started allowing women um, about 15 year, or 50 years ago. Um, it's 1895, and um, <clears throat> your um, your order is called the Knights of the Royal Oak, and it refers to the sacred oak at Boscobel House, where uh, geez, King Henry the Third hid um, from uh, Parliament forces, or King Charles, one of those kings, I uh, hid from Parliament forces. Um, and um, that, would be, that would be Charles. Charles, yeah. And um, the um, <clears throat> the order sort of started as a group of royalists um, who swore themselves to protect um, like monarch the monarchy in England. Mm -hmm. But you ended up um, during 1666 um, during the bad years of the plague. You ended up sort of shifting your focus towards protecting England from the supernatural. And just recently, there was something that happened. Um, the, uh, the, the order sort of, there was like a Order 66 kind of thing that happened. If you don't know what the, the Star Wars reference is, it's that there was sort of an attack from the inside or something happened and um, the organization was infiltrated, and a lot of the top leadership sort of went into hiding, or they were killed. Or, um, but your your agency, your detective agency, is called the Knight in Oak, and that is uh, a direct nod to the order, and it's sort of like keeping a candle, a light on, for anyone who is out there uh, struggling, who is part of the order, and they can find you and um you are in london you are in the eastern london um on the thames you're in an area called the isle of dogs and it is right across from the royal naval college and um kind of very industrialist sort of part of um uh commercial and industry in uh in london it's very busy um and it's also very dirty <laughs> this is the time of gaslight, and um, it's just, it's very polluted and smoggy, dirty. Um, so one thing that's recently been happening that's in the news is that um, Jack the Ripper was a thing uh, not too long ago, about eight years ago. Jack the Ripper, all of the murders um, around Whitechapel, which is not far from you. Um, that was a very prominent thing. There was a lot of people that were kind of hiding from, or they were living in fear of um, Jack the Ripper. And um, <clears throat> uh, recently, there has been body parts that have been washing up on the Thames um, in your area, like very close to you. Um, some just like very, very close. And um, in the news, they're sort of writing it off as um, um, accidents involving workers in this uh, tunnel project, which is, um, there's a, a huge construction project that's happening. Um, and it is called the, um, I think it's the Black Wall, uh, the, uh, Yes, the Black Wall Tunnel Project. So a huge construction project, but some people are scared that they think that it's that the Ripper is back. Um, and uh, and then as you're you know you're in your detective agency, um, and um, your detective agency is pretty well outfitted. You have a shooting range. You have um, extra rooms for people to stay in case anybody wanders in off the street claiming to be part of the Royal Oak or whatever. And um, 
but you also have like access to firearms. You have access to special kinds of weapons like um, um, silver bullets, um, like uh, brass knuckles that have silver folded into them, like uh, cane swords that have, um, you know, uh, like a, uh, what do they call it? Like a Damascus pattern that has silver folded into it because uh, silver has proved effective at fighting some kinds of supernatural entities that you come into contact with. And um, you uh, are working, or you're, some of you, maybe one or two of you are in the office, and a young mother comes in, uh, and then she kind of sits down uh, in the lobby. She looks very distraught uh, and kind of looking for uh, some assurance, some help. What do you do? Um, we have some detectives, right? Or, or a detective? <laughs> Are you muted? I'm, I'm not. Um, I mean, I could have driven her in. Yeah. Um, and so... Yeah, this woman, she's she looks very. Young. But what are we? What are we? What do we tell each other first before we get into that? Let's tell each other what our characters are. Oh right, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay, well, Joseph Kelly, he's a a cab driver, uh, usually um, uh, two horses. On this, he grew up um, uh, on an estate. Uh, his father was the driver there, and his mother, uh, while she was living, was a um, uh, uh, the in, inside the house. Uh, she died pretty early. the The son of the uh, of the uh, the people that owned the estate was quite sickly, so the mother uh, insisted that um, uh, Joseph get an education along with her son, so her son would have somebody to, you know, play with and with and stuff like that so he's fairly educated uh uh when uh, uh his uh father died and uh um her son died after he was away at college uh they, the mother got um mm. uh, pretty close so she and even ended up giving him a, a pair of horses uh and he eventually went out on his own he's uh wiry strong uh um, he never uses them on a horse, but he's he's pretty damn and bad with bull whip, uh, with with a whip. So, uh, but uh, he stumbled across the agency and has been because uh, he's seen some strange things and it's kind of hooked up with them. So he brought when the lady was um, um, out on the street. Uh, uh, asking for somebody to take her to this location, he picked her up and took her took her down there. What um what was your brush with the supernatural? What um led you to believe in the strange and not any one definitive thing that you could say? Hey, there's definitely something there, but. You know, there's a lot of things that go around around London. Cumulatively, it seems strange. And plus, he's a reader, and he's read up on a lot of stuff like that. So he hasn't had any real clear, definitive proof of anything yet. But he's had a lot of hints at things um, and, and is curious. Oh, who's next? I guess I will be. Okay, my character's name is Archie Brooks. He's a book dealer at Moreland Books. Uh, his connection with the group is Moreland, Moreland Books tends to get hold of some rather rare uh, publications, and what he'll do is he'll bring it back and forth from the bookstore to... Uh, to the headquarters and back again. 
Um, his he's a very thin, uh, kind of scrawny, uh, twenty five year old male. Sorry, my eyes are bothering me. Uh, he got connected in with the occult because so many freaking cultists keep coming into Moreland books looking for a rare occult literature. And one time he eventually got tired of it and tried to call the guy on it. That was a mistake. As the guy very quickly proved that uh, supernatural entities actually do exist. Okay, that would pretty much be it for me. Mike? Um, I'm Jude. Uh, I'm an antiquarian. Uh, I have a nice little shop, you know. Uh, I was out for new, new items. Uh, got into the cult. Just looking at these, uh, some of these estate sales, trying to find stuff. And, um, some of the things I brought back to the shop were, uh, Mm, lively, I guess you could say. Uh, I learned that there's more out there than just living people. You know, not you know, uh, just things that you can't see. When actually, um, you know, supernatural stuff actually exists. Right. Yep. So, um, so yeah, you see, uh, you see a, a young mother, she looks to be still in her twenties. Um, and she's sort of distraught, like sitting in your waiting room, um, uh, looking around, like trying to find out if she's in the right place. I'll, um, go up and, uh, while she's waiting, it's like, where is so and so? Whoever one of the detectives is, yeah. Oh, hello. Right. Yeah. Um, is this uh Night and Oak? Well, you're the, the uh, is that the woman speaking? Yes. Am I in the right place? Uh, yes, yes, you are. Uh, like I said, I was looking for the uh, lead detective, but he doesn't seem to be here at the time. But several of his uh, patriots are here, so please uh, sit down and tell us what's going on. So oh, okay. We can assist you. Okay, good. Um, I uh, I had heard that you sometimes take on unusual cases. Um, I um, this is going to sound very strange, but um, I think that my baby was replaced i think that my baby might be a changeling she's um she's not 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 the baby i remember um my husband thinks i'm crazy and he refuses to acknowledge any of it any of the things that have happened so i've come to you for help that's interesting. Uh, how old is your baby? Um, she's only nine months. Uh, and when did you think? When do you think she got replaced? Uh, well, it was only recently. Um, I well, there's been some things that happened. Um, I have a a nanny who helps me to take care of her. Um, and she started keeping the room dark when, um, whenever the baby is in there, when I would go in to, uh, to feed her, um, when we were nursing, I would open the window to let some light in and she would get very agitated. Um, she doesn't seem to like sunlight. She bit me. She has sharp teeth. 
Um, she she bre- bit my breast. She drew blood, and she seemed to want the blood. Um, she she cried when I pulled away from her. It hurt. Um, I noticed a strange new birthmark on her on her neck. Um, and uh, it's, I just, I don't, I don't know what's happened. I mean, she looks the same, but she doesn't act the same. She's not, she used to cry. She was a, a colicky baby, but um, now she doesn't even cry anymore. She just cries when the sun hits her. Could Could you... Could you maybe get one of the detectives to come and take a look? My husband um, is out. Yeah, uh, these gentlemen, as far as those sorts of things, uh, are probably the best people in the office to do that. Uh, now, uh, tracking down, it sounds to me like something started happening once the nanny showed up. That's where the detectives will come in. So if you can give us as much information on where you ran across this person, how you know him, et cetera, et cetera, like that, then when the detective comes in, they can follow up those leads. Well, I hired her through a service. My husband, my husband hired her. Um, I don't, I don't know what to think. Just you're the first person who hasn't looked at me like I'm crazy. Well, uh, I'm an only child, but uh, that biting portion, that biting thing, is uh, striking me as odd. I don't have any brothers or sisters, but I got the impression that I had my my teeth came in a little bit later than that. Though. <laughs> no, she has sharp teeth. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that's common. So. And my husband is keeping strange hours at work. He's, I'm afraid our marriage is falling apart. He's drinking. I don't know if I am going crazy. I don't know if I'm driving us apart, being a bad mother. Uh, you're concerned about your baby. Uh... You're trying to help her. I, I, I think that in my book that makes you a good mother. Nobody's born knowing, born, born knowing how to take care of a kid if it's a usual one like that. That's. But uh, do you, Paul? Uh, uh, do the. Uh, Archie, you want to. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll take you over there. You want to see about? Uh, yes. Take a look at the kid. Yes, yes, I do. And then I would like to talk to the uh, nanny for a bit, and then I want to do some research. All right. Okay. And, we could go. Uh, what was the nanny's name? Elizabeth. Do you know what uh, agency she was from? No, I don't. My husband, he hired her. He said that she came from an agency. Um, I, I assume somewhere local. I could ask her. Yeah, just make it kind of casual, like my friend is looking for, for uh, uh, a nanny, at least part-time. Uh, so, what's the name of her agency so you can recommend it? But would you mind coming with me? Sure, sure. Oh, sure. Okay. Good. I just, I, I would feel better. I'm starting to feel strange inside my own. Can't have that. We should uh, definitely go check. Good. 
Good. Okay, I feel better. I'm glad to get all this off my chest. So, I guess I will uh, gather whatever supplies that I would normally carry with me and go to uh, investigate. Bringing shotguns and explosives to go. To uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, you never know. We might need them, but no. Is there anything, any kind of stuff that from the agency, your agency, that you might want to take, like? Um, any kind of supplies? I mean, if you want I'm not sure what type of supplies the agency has. Well, you you would have access to things like good library of kind of the occult and um, all different things like silver crosses. Um, yeah, silver I'll take. A, I'll definitely take a cross. Yeah. Silver bullets. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, not thinking the child is going to werewolf out on me. So, I hope. If you're if you're under the impression that it's a vampire, there could be you could I don't know you could bring a cross or something. Um, yeah, I was planning <laughs> on bringing a cross. Yeah. Does anybody and have some, any? Somehow, yeah. I think that if it's a if the child is a vampire, she would not have been strong enough to push it away. Yeah, sure. Um, so, um, are you? Are is everybody ready to? Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna ask uh, this. Does anybody, does anybody in the group, do uh, on our side of we have uh, photographic equipment? Can anybody take photography or sketching or anything like that? Mm. What would that be under? Um, well, yeah. arts, arts, crafts, arts and crafts. Yeah. Yeah. Can you specify what it, what it is? Yeah. Uh, no, no, I don't. Okay. Let's see, I don't think I do either, no. Yeah, well, I got 25 in art craft. 25 higher than me. I mean, if you want to pick, if you just want to say, you know, sketching or something, or, like, that's that's fine. Uh, photography, whichever. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But, um, so as you're sort of heading out, you know, from your island, mm -hmm. there are not, and it's not actually an island, sorry. It's a, um, it's a, sort of like a little peninsula that runs up against a wall. Mm -hmm. um, there was a bunch of areas like during the plague where they sort of walled off like different areas. Um, and then there's neighborhoods like you're right next to Greenwich village which is super rich and then it's right next to um like white chapel which is really poor and they're actually like little walled off districts oh do i get um, i'm sorry um but as you're heading out you need to cross bridges um there's only a few bridges like as you're going across the um the things um but one of them is right next to you, right next to the the Naval College, the um, the uh, Greenwich Village. So, um, as you're getting closer to where um, this woman lives, it is in Greenwich Village. It's it's rich. Um, it's a very nice neighborhood, and. Um, there's some traffic kind of as you cross across these bridges. And part of the reason why they're doing this massive tunnel project is to kind of loosen up some of, some of the traffic. Um, <laughs> baby, maybe we're playing. Um, we're playing Sally. Oh, Sally. Yeah. Um, so. <clears throat> yeah, if you're greeted by Elizabeth, 
and she it kind of comes out to to open the door and help um uh, julia so sorry the mother's name is julia and uh she comes out to sort of help her out of the carriage and open the door and help you and, and welcome you all this is hello ma'am uh would you would you be needing anything else today or would it be all right if i if i took my leave um and uh and uh Ju or yeah julia says no actually um we had a few questions for you about baby samantha um these these men are, are here to help me they are experts in the field they're going to have to take a look at at baby samantha and they might have some questions for you and elizabeth says yes ma'am and goes back to the uh sort of back to the kitchen to make some tea for all of you um so it's a very nice house very rich um if anybody wants to you can give me a spot hidden okay I'll happily do so. Yep. And a 91 just won't cut it. <laughs> First roll of the game. Get him out. Get him out right away. Mm. 41. I think that should work. Yeah. I think I'm not about. Okay. 65. Just a regular. I don't have access to dice at the moment, so I will roll in roll 20. Okay. okay. Actually, I have access to dice, but they're stuck in this vial, and I can't get them out. I haven't been able to get them out since I bought them. Mm. <laughs> oh, and um, make sure, so call Cthulhu, make sure to mark off your skills when you get a success, because you improve skills on a success. Not on a failure. Uh, yeah. Once again, much like Mike, I don't think a ninety-seven passes. Yeah, well, I, I got a I got a regular. I got uh, forty. A regular. Yeah, forty-one. I okay, sixty-five. Um. So as you're kind of wandering through this home, you mm -hmm. see um some pictures of what looks to be like better days. Um, there are multiple, like um blueprints and it's like things that it looks that maybe maybe the husband is like some kind of a builder or something like an architect or something like that um and um there's he has some like building projects that are framed on the walls um and uh there are pictures of the couple together and he is freakishly tall she just stands she doesn't even come up to his chin um and there's a picture of them with the the baby and they're out in the sunshine and everything looks fine they all look happy and normal but maybe better days a very rich uh kind of shishi house yeah, is there any sign of like they're cutting back on stuff in the house? You know, in other words, like their income has gone down. Um, no, no. Actually, if anything, like this, this house kind of smacks as well. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, but, uh, Elizabeth comes out of the kitchen with some some tea and she says, "Would you? Would anybody care for some tea?" Uh, Sure, thank you. Sir? Uh, uh, yes, I'll also take one. I'll take it. Yes, yes ma'am, I'll take some. And, and ma'am, would you like a tea? And um, uh, Julia kind of looks at her, kind of like a, gives her a little bit of a side eye, just like, no, um, no, I'm fine. Uh, and... Uh, I'm not going to drink it, but I'm just going to pretend like I'm breaking it. 
Yeah. Yes. Similarly, I would like to uh, covertly lose mine into the nearest possible plant. Okay. Okay. Um, so That's Julia says, would you like to see the baby? Certainly. Go have, let's go have a look at her. What do you, what do you think? Um, and, uh, and Elizabeth says, okay, I'll, I'll be here, mom. Um, you let me know when I, when I can, what I can do for you and when I can have my leave. I'm very tired. Um, and, uh, the mother leads you upstairs in through this house and, um, up to the baby's bedroom and, uh, opens the door and it's very dark in this room. Like the shades are drawn to say that it's kind of, I don't know, like late afternoon. There's still some daylight, um, and she pulls open the shades, and immediately the baby starts crying. Um, and uh, and then you hear Elizabeth kind of, you know, rush upstairs, um, and she comes into the room and she's like, "Would you like me to take care of the baby, ma'am?" Uh, and and Julie, Julie says, "No, no." No, I want her to get some sunshine. Um, and she, you know, like pulls apart the, the bassinet so that this baby is like fully exposed, exposed into the light. Um, and she um, starts to kind of like the poke and prod, you know, at her. She says, what is it? Are you hungry? Um, and it picks the baby up. and. Uh, and then she sort of like turns it so that you can see it. And it's like, it's, it's very pale. Um, kind of like gaunt, like her father, you know, like, like skinny, um, pale. And, uh, and then she kind of like motions to you to take a look at, um, the baby's neck. Um, and like push, pushes the head to the side, um, and then the baby sort of goes for her um, breast, but then um, you see the teeth. <laughs> um, she's it's like trying to show you, you know. Um, she's that'll be all. That'll be all, Elizabeth. For now, if you can just wait in the kitchen. Um, and Elizabeth's like, yes, mom. She goes down to the kitchen. Uh -huh. Um, does anybody have any medicine or um I've got first aid. Uh -huh. What's that? I've got it at one percent, but I don't have medicine. One percent? I got it at one percent. You get it, get uh -huh. it, it made just, just, made to make, yeah, just based on medicine, just but I do have first aid at uh, forty, I think. No, sixty. Okay, well, that's fine. Six, first, first aid. Just some basic kind of. Yeah, you know. I've got like a 30 in it. Um, okay, well, go ahead and give me a roll. Okay. I'll let the person with a higher roll roll first. I mean, any of you okay, can. 11, so that would be an extreme. Okay, extreme. So um, this baby's teeth are sharp. Um, and like um uh, like little needles and like just her you know just her what do you call it um incisors like her fangs mm -hmm. um and if she it seems to be trying to sort of like chomp down on her mom's breast <laughs> uh like um uh, like she wants to draw blood again um and uh and then the birthmark on her neck does not look like it's not like teeth marks. It's not like, you know, something bit her or something, but you do see kind of like a red spot. Um and and then she's she says, that was not there. That was not there when she was born. I knew every inch of her body. Um and uh, and she also has like her ears are like slightly pointy. 
Um, what, what about her eyes? Are they the same? Well, we, the, the pictures would be black and white, but, but is there anything different about the eyes? Yeah, I mean, um, could be colicky baby, you know, um, sort of like um, there's baby's teeth and everything, but um, this one like sort of has like a sort of a yellowish um, pallor to her skin, like a, a jaundice or something like that. Like her eyes look a little bit yellow. Looks a little sickly. Okay. Uh, do a little slight nick. Off of her teeth? Well, I'm going to do a little slight. I'm going to just kind of like a prick my finger. I'm just mm -hmm. going to squeeze a little bit out over her mouth. Oh, she immediately goes for it. She kind of like just starts to um, suck on your, you know, like. Oh, wow. Yeah. Starts sucking on your finger. Yeah. All right. And then, and I think um, actually. So I'll, take it. So I'll take it away after a second. Okay. Yeah, Julia, um, she's like drawn about you know her eyes get big and she and she kind of um i'm going to do i do a sanity check for her um so she kind of looks at you her eyes get big and then she gives you like a a silent kind of a nod like uh, yeah, like i'm not can. crazy no you're not um, crazy have you tried? Is this, I mean, this is just trying by scientific method here. Have you tried feed your other blood? See if she likes anything other than human blood. She's, like, she's a baby. She's well, a baby. She's supposed to want her mother's milk. I know that, but I mean, it could be a case of um, when we were. Uh, when I was uh, taking care of the horses, sometimes, I mean, they they they're they're vegetarians, but sometimes when you had iron deficiency and you put in other ingredients, so maybe maybe she's suffering from some physical ailment that the blood satisfies something that the milk doesn't. Some kind of anemia or something. Possibly, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all eliminated any possibility of any normal thing first. I suppose I haven't been getting that much sleep lately. Maybe, maybe I could take her to the doctor. Um, I, I don't know. Um, did you want to talk to Elizabeth? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, uh, I'll let you folks take over the lead on that because you know the what questions you want to ask. I might just ask a little bit about the agency saying that saying I have a friend that it's gonna be so uh, do any day now and she might be needing uh, existence for Nanny, what's the name of the agency. But then after that, why don't you guys take over and ask questions that I would think to ask. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah so um after um, you let kind of let the baby suck on your finger for a minute, then she tries to um, like sort of coddle it and like pulls the shades again uh, and puts her back down um, in the little bassinet. Uh, and if anybody goes down to talk to Elizabeth, she's just in the kitchen. She's just waiting there, having her drinking the tea that she made. <laughs> Anything unusual looking about her? Nothing. No, she is. She's um, she's kind of stocky. <laughs> she's she's she looks um, a little bit tough. Um, like uh, I'm suddenly like getting an image of like a Russian nanny. Exactly. Yeah, well, Irish, Irish, but um, you get the idea. Uh, and she kind of nods at you, like, and how's the baby?
bit colicky. She always is. Okay, oh, for wow. the questioning of Elizabeth, I will uh, defer to a Jude. Um, looking at the blood drinking, I really don't know what kind of questions to ask. I mean, show where you're cross. <laughs> uh, oh, did you? I mean, if you want to like retcon, if you want to say that while you were up. You know, like invest, like looking at the baby that you pressed across up against his forehead or something. You could have done that too. Um, I'm a big okay. fan of retconning stuff that I should have thought on my own. That's well. Wow. Um, what, what was from, it, uh, what were the, what were you suggesting retconning? Oh, just like when you were looking at the baby, you could have, I don't know, pressed a, a silver cross up against its forehead or something just to, or if you have like, you have like silver coins and stuff like that on you, you could have just touched it, touched it with the silver coin, like nonchalantly. Um, got a little piece of iron in my pocket. Touch the baby. Does that do anything? Um, it kind of looks, yeah, it's kind of looks at you a little bit funny, like, um, when you're, you know, moving it around, like, almost like it's, um, what do you call it? Um, like, you know how if you dangle keys in front of a baby, they mm -hmm. kind of get, they're like, they're like, ooh, uh, goo. <laughs> So no reaction when it touches its skin or anything? Um, no, no, it's not. It, yeah, it doesn't seem to react to the iron specifically. Um, All right. I thought it would check. Um, you know, the folk folklore of fa fairies yeah. and changelings. Yeah, uh, supposedly yeah. Doesn't fairies seem like... don't like iron. Yeah. So, hmm. Either the folklore is wrong or this is... Not a change again. I don't know. Uh, yeah, different type of. Um, so, yeah, but Elizabeth is just kind of just like more tea. Uh, just questions. Like some uh, biscuits. Uh, I'll go thank you, Adam. I had it earlier. Uh, just question. I have a friend that's uh, due any day now, uh, uh, and uh, she's probably going to need to be, be needing some help. Uh, what's the name of your agency so I can refer her to it? Oh, um, they're just over here. Um, it's called uh, Nanny Poppins. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, let's see here. Um, we have psychology. Um, but I mean, that's easy enough to look up, so I'm not going to bother to try to get a read off of her. Oh, I'll try to get a read off of her. Psychology? Yeah, and uh, no. <laughs> Okay. Um, did you? Were you trying to figure out if she's lying to you, or? Well, if she's if she's lying, uh, if she wants us contacting the agency, or. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Um. But, uh, so she I have seems, no idea. Yeah. Is she. I mean, just from like. Trying to get a read on her though, she seems like maybe a little bit nervous, but it could just be because she's got a bunch of dudes in her house that are mm -hmm. questioning her. Mm -hmm. Um, but she's kind of just you know soaking her tea bag and then takes a biscuit, and, like soaks that, eats it. Tell us about what uh, the baby does when uh, you know when you're taking care of her, you know, because. The mother's here at certain times a day, and you're here at other times a day. So just so we can get an idea of a complete idea of what the baby routine, I guess, is. Well, Mrs. Sargent, she's been very, very tired as of late. Uh, I take her for walks. We go out to the park over there. Uh, she cries. She cries a lot. Uh, she doesn't seem to really like the light. 
that much. She's a colicky baby. She teases a lot. I try to give her things to chew on. She's angry all the time. Was she always like this? Has she been in her employee? Well, I don't. I thought I thought she was just teething. But I mean, the sunlight and stuff like that. I see a picture of her out in, uh, on the wall in the sunlight looking pretty happy. Well, not lately. Yeah, well, what, when, when was lately? When, when did, what qualifies as lately? When did, when did things change? I've only been here a few months. Okay. You guys enjoy my terrible Irish accent. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Better mine would be. Um. Is she, is she, how is how is this? Is she? She doesn't look well. I think your employer is going to take her to the doctor. So. All right. That's probably what the baby needs to have a good look with the doctor. Okay. Um, if you, if you excuse me, I'll uh, uh, leave you in the company of these fine gentlemen. I'm going to consult with uh, uh, Julius of Thamba. Mother? Yeah. Julia Sargent. Okay. Uh, I asked uh, uh, Sergeant, did uh, the baby start acting this way before or after? Uh, you, you said it's been recently, and the nanny says she's been here a few months. Did this start before the nanny showed up, after the nanny showed up? I. It would have been after we got back from the hospital I um I, I I wasn't sleeping I haven't been sleeping um she cries constantly but but not like not like that um I I don't know I um, do you think could we maybe take her to the doctor now could you drive me yes ma'am Yes, but I'm also really glad you. Okay, that would make me feel so much better. I appreciate all of your help, and I'll and I'll pay you. Okay. I'll take. Uh, I'm I'm going to take uh, Miss Sergeant to the uh, Miss Sergeant to the doc doctor with the baby. Um, the uh, if anybody you want to come along, uh, I'll be sitting in the waiting room for a while, or. Uh, yeah, why don't you come along? Uh, which one are you referring to? Uh, I can have get four people in the coach. Okay, I can come along. She's right. a human. She's a human being, sort of. Too. Um. Well, I mean, the mother <laughs> and the baby. The mother <laughs> and the baby count as one, one person. Three. So, so three passengers and me. So, yeah. sit on her lap. Okay. Uh, I'll kind of as I pass by Jude, I'm gonna say it's like try the silver. Um <clears throat> so yeah, um if you take her to the doctor, um, uh, <clears throat> uh she actually, she directs you to um, a home that is also in Greenwich Village. Um, and uh, she, you know, directs you to where it is. Um, and 
who sort of just walks up to the door carrying the baby, starts knocking on the door. Um, and uh, <clears throat> eventually he does answer. The doctor comes out and he's like, oh, hello, Julia. How are you, my dear? And how is the baby? Uh, and Julia is like, she's not well. She she cries and cries and cries and she bit me and she's been drinking blood. We think she's anemic. Um, and he, he's come come inside, come inside. We'll we'll um, we'll have a look at her. Um, and uh, so as you're kind of coming into this um, this doctor's house, he, um, he gives you a handshake. Um, and then you kind of recognize it um, as like, he does the thing where he like bends one finger back kind of like awkwardly when he gives you the handshake, but you recognize it as kind of like a handshake of one of your order. Um, and he's, I'm, uh, <clears throat> uh, what is my name? Uh, I'm, I'm Dr. Foxwell. Welcome. Come, please come inside. But do you, do you kind of complete the, yeah, whoever, we'll whoever, he, yeah, give like, give him this mm -hmm. shake. Yeah. Um, and he, and he kind of, nods at the rest of you and please please come and say um and say that maybe somebody has a an oak leaf in their hat you know or something like that mm -hmm. he recognizes you yeah but probably. um or you know a ring or something like that so he he welcomes you in and then um he takes the baby and and then he starts to do an exam examination on the baby. Ooh. And um he starts to um to kind of like act a little bit nervously as he's like examining this baby. He's kind of like wringing his hands. Um and he's trying to like play with it, uh, like doing like this kind of same, some of the same thing that you guys were doing when you're like you're touching it with iron or whatever, but like seeing if it's tracking his finger when it's when he's moving and then like it's shining a light in its eyes and it freaks out when it's, you know, when he shines the light um, or not, sorry, not a flashlight, but like turns its head to the, to see the, see it in the daylight and then it gets angry. Um, and, um, he, uh, and he, he says, yes, uh, yes, miss, um, ma'am, uh, Mrs. Sergeant, uh, I think, I think the baby is anemic. I think that, um, there's some things that we could do. I could give you a supplement. Um, we could, um, we could make it a formula that would have some iron in it that could help. Um, and then he kind of nods at all of you, um, like, uh, <laughs> um, and, uh, and she's like, Oh, Oh, thank God. Thank God. So she's not a, a vampire. And, uh, and he's like, no, 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 you're, you have a perfectly healthy baby. She's just teething and uh, she appears to be anemic. Mm -hmm. um, she looks a little thin. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Sargent has not been sleeping very well. Is there, perhaps you should examine her. We'll go outside, of course, uh, when you examine her. Uh, See how she's doing. Most certainly. If you're not sleeping, Mrs. Sergeant. Uh, Julia's. No, 
no, I have not been sleeping at all. Um, so, well, we could, I could maybe give you something for that. It would help you to sleep. I know what it's like having a new baby and not being able to sleep. Um, we, uh, we start to lose our sanity. Um, <clears throat> and, um, <clears throat> he, uh, this takes Julia sort of away to, like, you know, have a little bit of privacy while he checks her out. Um, what are y'all doing in the, in the house while he kind of wanders off for a minute? I'm just going to look at any books on the bookshelf. Mm hmm. Ditto. Um, yeah. So there, there is um, medical stuff. Um, one of the things you notice is that he has the papers out on the kitchen table. He seems to be going through articles about um, these. Um, body parts that are like washing up on the shores and stuff and like news about um jack the ripper things like that um and uh or i guess the real estate the, are the body parts can they identify them as male or female body parts both oh okay oh, actually let me get a let me get like either a, a spot hidden or yeah i think spot hidden 23, so yeah. I got a four. Oh, so like critical? Mm -hmm. Not critical, hard. Let me see. Yeah, my spot hidden is, yeah, it's an extreme. My spot hidden is a 45, yeah, I and I rolled a four. Hard. So. Um, um, Steve, I think you're getting the game systems mixed up. <laughs> no, no, um, it's Call Cthulhu. Critical is a one. Hard is like ah. 20 or no, 15%. Uh, it's, it, it's, well, no, it, it's, it's five. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's uh, hard is half. Um, okay. Critical is, I mean, uh, extreme, extreme is, um, is 5%. Uh, one, of course, would always be, uh, uh, especially critical. combat would be critical, but yeah. Yeah. But no, it's five, it's 5%. But That's you got extreme. Right. Mike, or sorry, Jude. You I got, got an extreme. But you got an extreme. I got an extreme. Okay. Yes. Um, so, hard, yeah. Um, there is something like you kind of move, you know, there's like this pile of um, articles like on the table about um, like these just kind of like this construction project and um, <clears throat> the. Um, the body or not bodies it's body parts there there's like been multiple sort of like dismembered um bodies and then it could be attributed to some accidents you know like maybe because there are there is a lot of workers that aren't doing things but the uh the body parts are male and female um and then you kind of move shift one of these articles to the side and then there's like some kind of like an autopsy report um and it's um it's like one of these bodies that showed up in the like in the docks um next to the plant where they they process um like me methane um like where they make the the gas for the gas lights and it has these, it um, it has some really weird, like it's um, it mentions surgical cuts, um, and how there is a bubbling um, under the skin, which is not consistent with drowning or or just like that. Um, um, there's some inconsistencies, like with the, the autopsy report. There's some weird weird stuff that kind of stand that um uh, or i guess there's a reason why he has this um this autopsy 
thing that he was, it looks like maybe he was just looking at it. Um, it's probably but, the food sensor for the Scotland Yard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so eventually he does come back and then he kind of does the same thing, offers you some some tea or um I'll take it. yeah okay yeah um and yeah he definitely like if you did the secret handshake he gave you he gave you like he did it the right way mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um like 99 percent sure that he's in your order um uh, so he he off you know he, he he kind of like moves all of this gore like I'm sure I just shift all of these um, these articles like off his kitchen table and make a spot I'll help, for everyone. I'll help him. I'll help him bring in the tea and uh, just so we'll be out of uh, Julia Miss Sergeant's range. Very range is like part of the reason I wanted you to check her out is there's something a little unusual about her husband. We saw a picture of him. He's extremely yeah, I, tall at the very least he might be suffering from giantism i don't know but well he's he's tall he's i've met i've met him he's oh, uh you met him. Okay. six okay. yeah he's um six foot six i'd say oh, okay. around here so not not giantism but then okay all right so not not quite that big but he's a very okay. he's he's tall and skinny the, the Remember, picture uh, he looked taller than what he was i guess Giant bones are still being found. They're all uh, stolen and hidden in the Smithsonian. The Smithsonian? I've never heard of that. Um, well, uh, yeah, I, it is odd. Hmm. It's a strange, it's a strange case. So um, is, she, is the baby really just a name? I'll do what I can. I do, I'll do what I can. I'm, I'm, I'm a little concerned. Um, are you, uh, are you, are you somewhere? Are you somewhere around here? Or are you, are you the drive? Are you the driver? I'm not the uh, driver. Yes. You've been taking Miss, uh, Miss Sar or Miss Sergeant, uh, around. Her well, not not until today. I heard I heard her trying to hail a cab, and uh, she mentioned our headquarters. So I maneuvered my way in and picked her up. Today's the first time I ever had any contact with her. Hmm. Um. Uh, yeah. Bye. Mm. I hope it's. I hope that's all it is. Uh, I'll I'll mix her up. I'll mix her up something. Uh, she can take it. She can take it with her. I can make it right now. Um, and uh, and then yeah, he kind of he seems very comfortable with you. He kind of just walks off. He goes to sort of like mix something up, like runs his practice out of his home. Mm -hmm. uh, if you yeah, if you want to, you could like thumb through these articles somewhere if you want. <laughs> he tried to sort of shift, like put the autopsy report back under all of the yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> these clippings, so. push them all to the side. But uh, yeah, it seems like maybe he can trust you though. Um, I'm essentially waiting till I can get back to Moreland to uh, do some investigations. With the book, yeah. Um, so he comes back, and then he he uh, comes back with um, with laudanum. Uh, this is for a colicky baby. It's, it's it's heroin and cocaine and just a little bit of uh, cinnamon. Um, <laughs> um, but he, now he, you just described the uh, formula to original Coke. Yeah, yeah. No, he's, he's and he kind of he gives uh, 
he gives Julia some instructions on how to handle. And she, you know, he tells her that if the baby is biting her, that what she, what she can do is she can add some of this to some powdered milk and mix something up. And and then she says, yes, I, that's what Elizabeth has been doing. I just, I thought that maybe if I breastfed her, it might, it might help. Um, and she bit me. Um, and he kind of he kind of nods and he's like, "And this is for you. This is the the good stuff. The laudanum's for the baby. This this is special." Um, yeah, and the uh, this should help you sleep. Uh, and he, he says, "Well, I I think that you should. Um, I think you should get Mrs. Uh, um, Mrs. Sergeant back home. I think it's getting late." Yeah. But is there any way that I can contact you? I'll, I'll get my personal card, and I guess one of you folks can get one of the cards to the agency. Are you detectives? Yeah. And we're consultants with the agency. I'm a little well. Well, okay. the, the 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 detective is out today, so. But the coach <laughs> is yours. The coach is mine. The coach is mine. Okay, very well. Well, I'll be in touch. Um, I might have more questions. Okay. And don't don't be afraid to call on me as well if you think that I can help. Certainly will. And um, couldn't help noticing the stack of papers there. Is there any things we should be looking out for? Oh, well, they say that the Ripper's back. But some of the victims are male. Right. Yeah, the Ripper only uh, targeted women. Well, I don't know what. And somebody, this, uh, this, uh, this is an accident. These, these aren't all accidents. No, yeah, they're not accidents, but I don't, I don't think it's the Ripper. I don't. I don't think that um, body parts should be washing up on the shore when Blackwall Project is over. I mean, I know that the sewers are everywhere. There's whole underground rivers under London mm -hmm. that they turn into sewers, but I just, I don't, it doesn't have, it's very strange. Yeah. It's all very strange. I will keep an eye out for anything on that too, so vice versa. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I'll, uh, I'll pitch you good evening. Okay. Uh, all right, so we'll uh, take Miss Sergeant back. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it's starting to get a little bit later. Um, and um, you take um, Julia back home, and she seems better. She seems like she got a lot off her chest like she's appreciative mm -hmm. um for all of your help and then mm -hmm. um you yeah so you're you can drop her off and then what do you want to do is there any place that we can kind of keep an eye on the well where was her where was her bedroom and we could probably we probably could tell what because we went up to like the baby so we're was her bedroom was her bedroom towards the front of the house or back there? Yeah. You want to do like a stakeout? I'm thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a park. So you you remember Elizabeth mentioning that she takes her to the park down the street. Uh -huh. So there's just like a little park that's kind of down the street. Um there's some tree cover. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. And then, oh, so it is getting like later, like um, you know, dusk, and um, you haven't seen the husband yet, mm -hmm. and it looks like um, Elizabeth was waiting patiently for him to return. He says, "I'll take my leave now, ma'am." <laughs> uh, so yes, 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 Elizabeth. Uh, see you bright and early in the morning. Um, and but you can 
if you want to, I don't know, you could go down the street, you could get, you probably get like uh, a tea or you probably have enough tea. You go do something, wait for the sun to go down. Uh-huh. I think I'll get the uh, uh, black flask. Mm. Take a few steps here and there as we're watching. I'll be right back. I'm grabbing a soda. You want? Do we want to take ten? Oh yeah, no! It, it'll only oh. take me a few seconds. Oh, okay. All right. That's fine. Unless you guys want to take a break. You just take a bathroom break. Yeah. Yeah, my dogs need out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> So, yeah, if you want to sort of post up somewhere, um, and I don't even know if this is a three-person job, but you can, um, it'll be easier. I don't, I don't think it's going to be too hard for you to kind of like hide from them so that you wouldn't be seen. It'd more be like being able to see what's going on inside the house because they have like the shades drawn. And that's yeah, that's one thing that you notice is that it seems like the house is kept kind of dark, like they mm-hmm. just had had a lot of the shades drawn. But you could wait for the husband to show up and see what time he shows up. Yeah. The year is uh, eighteen sixty five. Um, eighteen ninety five. Ninety five. Okay. Then they might have electrical uh, lighting. Yeah. Yeah, actually, um, now there's a lot of stuff. there's a lot of electrical lighting. Yeah, yeah, but it's um, it's like it's so it would be just getting dark, and then, but it's like they just it seems like um, I would imagine it, the light bulbs of that era probably didn't put out that much light. Well, I'm sorry. So no, what I, what I meant was is that they. It's like everywhere you went inside the house, you had the shades drawn. Yeah. Uh, but mm. once it beca- once it does become dark and they t- turn on lights in the house, um, can we see silhouettes on the shades? Um. Yeah. So, um, you see what looks to be, um, Julia, like moving around in the baby's room. Mm-hmm. Like the you see the lights um kind of moving around in there, and then um you can get a spot in mm. spot yeah. in you say yeah oh, All it's right. it's not useful a useful skill to to I'm gonna spend, oh, hang on. <laughs> I need, I need to I roll like right. before I can spend it. So <laughs> thirty nine. A regular. That's a regular. Okay. Yeah. I believe. Let me check. I I thought I said it was forty five. Yes, forty five. So yeah, that's a regular success. Okay. So um, we all roll uh, luck. Anybody who's there? Or no, no. Um, spot hit. Spot hit. I'm just. That's yeah. Spot hit. Obviously. Uh, was fine. Yeah, so we got one success mm. for normal. Okay. Um, uh, luck is. Uh, it's, uh, well, okay. Are you, did you get it? Because you got you okay. got a success. All right. So I won't bother to mm. luck then. To, to, I, I won't problem. I won't bother to use luck to to get a regular then. Yeah. Um. So it gets it gets like dark, you know, and. Like, um, it looks like maybe Julia is getting ready for a bed or something. Like, there's a light in a a bedroom upstairs, and then the lights are off downstairs. And eventually, you see somebody wander up to the back of the house towards the kitchen. Um, and he looks to be a little bit drunk, like he's kind of fumbling with the keys a little bit uh, and then goes into the kitchen and it's, he's, you know, 99% sure that's a husband. He's very, very tall. 
Um, and then he he just kind of goes into the, the kitchen. Um, and uh, how long are you gonna how long are you gonna hang out? Wait, we'll see how see when he see if he stumbles upstairs. Yeah, see if we see him in shade, we see him in shades on the long window so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so actually, um and then after she retires, I want to see if he does anything. Um wait. Think, so. What do you mean probably, see if he has anything? Or does anything, but of course that would oh, be kind of hard because if if I if it's a, my supposition is correct, he could be doing it by well, he might have. I mean, uh even if they don't have the lights full on, maybe he might use a candle, in which case you could still probably see movement. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just trying to see if he does something, if I can. Yeah. Um, so the light goes off upstairs in Julia's, you know, or where mm -hmm. the, the bedroom upstairs is, right? Mm -hmm. Stays on in the kitchen for a while. And then you see, um, it looks like, he moved down to the basement because the lights go on in the basement for a little while. And eventually, eventually, he finally goes to bed. But it's like, it's like the lights go off um, in the, you know, like the kitchen first and then the basement. And then, um, he like, probably stumbles, stumbles upstairs and tries to crawl in the bed without waking up his his wife or something or, or maybe I, I don't know you don't see that but eventually probably kind of late like maybe around 10 or 11 he finally finally the lights go off okay so he doesn't stay down in the basement he, he appears to go upstairs to their room well he's down there for a while he's down there for like at least an hour hmm So he, that's he has a some... workshop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or he's doing an evil uh, ritual. Mm. One of the two. Yeah, one of the two. <laughs> but um, yeah, you're. I think that's all you're going to get from just kind of staying in the park, you know, like watching the house uh, okay. for that night. <laughs> All right, let's let's pull it. Let's 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 uh, let's see uh, if I'm driving by the next day. Uh, see where like the uh, we can see the boxes for the milk and the ice and things like that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See one. Yeah. See. See. Or coal shoot if there's a bay, you know, something like that. It would be um, down to the basement. Yeah. So you breaking in? <laughs> no, no, no. Like I'm just casing the joint. It's like in the daytime when I can see. Yeah. Uh, it's like I'll drive drive by to see if there's the milk and uh yeah. the milk is not, probably not gonna be in. yeah. It's it's probably you know, it's probably gonna have like the little Slot there, and you can just be at the door or a slot there at the, the door there. Uh, uh, ice and coal things, they're probably going to be around the back. So, if there's like an is there an alleyway between the things or somewhere where you can see in, into the backyard? Yeah, um, I think that you can, yeah, you could probably figure out a way to get a little bit better of a hiding spot. I mean, or so are you doing this during the middle of the night? No, 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 no. I can't really see those. I was just, I was just like I said, I just driving by to see spot what things are available that might lead into the basement. You know, like I said, the possibilities would be not going to be the milk, the milk slot, but the ice slot and the coal shoot could probably both, both be uh, in the back of the house where the basement is. So mm -hmm. if there's some way that we can go up through an alley or some way that we can see into the backyard. We should see boxes at the lower portion of the uh, house 
presumably over where the basement is. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, but you're all, you like, you see all this play out maybe ends around 10 p.m. Yeah. So, this is, this is for, this is for tomorrow we're talking about. Okay. When we can see. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Without shiny lights and correct yes. intention. Are we splitting up? Is that what you're doing? I don't know. What do you want? What are you folks are doing? What are folks? What are you folks going to be doing during the daytime tomorrow? I would have uh, oh. went back to Marlins and uh, started researching uh, folklore on changelings and such. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll help you with that. Um, Definitely, I'm pretty also. good at library mm -hmm. use. Oh, uh, Do you want to like work like, together? Might yeah. As well. Yeah. Two heads are better than one. Okay. Go ahead. Um, you can whoever has the better. Mine's uh, a grand total of twenty nine. I've got fifty library use, and I yeah, rolled a sixty eight. I would take a cult, or yeah, library, or um. Is there, is there? Oh, okay. I'm getting my systems mixed up. Um, okay. I mean, uh, um, one could help the other. That would give a. Well, yeah. They're, they'll give you different things, though. They'll give you, give you, like, libraries will give you just something different than a cult. No, no. What I was saying is they could help, they could help the. Uh, uh, yeah, thing. I failed Adrian. regardless. Just, you failed. So, ways you fail a library? Yes. Okay. Um what uh what are you researching? Um sorry, Paul, what's your character's name again? Archie. Archie, that's right. As I said, I was researching uh change lines. Yeah, so I think that would be a cult. Okay. That would specifically be a cult. And, and what is Jude researching specifically? Changeling. General you're both, lore. You're, you're, both, you're both researching changeling. I guess so. Right? Well, Jude, Jude failed his role in this. I rolled a yeah, I failed. But what I'm saying is it's if a, I help, that would get him a re-roll. Well, I mean, they could they could be doing this while you're, like, maybe okay. you drop right. them at the, okay. you know, at the bookstore, right. and then you're doing your reconnaissance. Um, okay. So, I made my occult uh, by roughly half. Okay, so that's Just a, under half. Yeah. So, the, so in Call yeah. Cthulhu, it's a, if you make it under a half, it's a success. Um, and you can burn luck too. You can you can burn some of your luck if you're like right there. To make something a hard, you know, um, a hard success. But um, so, what you find out, um, you you're kind of like looking through some of this stuff, um, and these this this doesn't necessarily match the symptoms of like changing like fairies coming and switching a baby or something like that, like the fae. Um, what it what you're you're reading is um it, it it kind of matches up more with um ghoul lore um okay. and yeah. then you have you've heard stories um you've heard stories of like it's um it's kind of like a um so ghouls eat human human flesh they crave human flesh they have pointy ears they have sharp teeth they have sharp claws they don't look like normal humans though you know they're tall they're they they're but they supposedly their stories of 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 being like whole whole cities of them under under london at some point like that um that there was um a large group of ghouls that was discovered during a cave-in. Um, they've been living sort of underground. Um, and all that kind of jives with 
and some of this other stuff. Except the it's something really, drinking blood yeah. rather than eating. What about what about a damper? Does it match with damper? The what? A D H A M P Y R damper, I guess the way you pronounce it. A yeah. human the, the product of a of a vampire and a human and some things I can't breed. Yeah. But, Basically blade. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. But like the sort of, that yeah. some some of that does line up like the light sensitivity and um yeah. but the fact you know, the fact that the baby is reacting to light mm -hmm. and it seems like it makes it angry and ornery, but not necessarily like, you know, you okay. touch yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. All the right. yellow eyes, the um you know, the sharp teeth, all that stuff, like it's but the fact that the the husband is tall and skinny, the baby is, is long and skinny and has sharp teeth, you know, it's not it's not a definite um but there's some 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 things that are just, you know, like the gears are turning. Um so we may have a baby cool and not a baby change on. Right. Yeah, the mm. um so well let's do let's do Jos Joseph. Um Okay. Like I said, I'm gonna is, is there is there an alley or is there a way? I mean I, again there are people who would come to the back to <laughs> to dump all the coal. Yeah. Uh, stuff like that. Um are you I'm just, I just wanna kinda I just wanna kinda drive by to see if there is one. Yeah. Can I get if you're driving like through the alley in your car, you know, your horse drawn carriage? Uh, yeah. Can I get either a drive or a stealth? Okay. Okay. Forty six out of that should be enough, I believe. Okay. Uh, Forty six out of fifty, so yeah. Regular. So regular. Okay. Um, yeah, so you're kind of like driving through through this area, you do see a um a coal chute. Right. Yeah. Okay. And so uh, and there's a milk box, not a milk, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, but there's a, you see a coal chute. Okay. Uh, how large is it? Um, it'd be tight, but but possible, yeah. Yeah, possible. And does there seem like there's a um entry way to the basement from the outside, or is it just strictly from the kitchen that I can tell? Yeah, it seems like there's like a back door that maybe goes up and goes down, you know, like there's a stairwell connected okay. to the back door. Okay, so we could if we if we had to uh like my stealth isn't worth shit, so I'm not, I'm not gonna try it. But tall, tall Victorian house, you know, with like yeah, maybe maybe even multiple staircases. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, we're thinking through with that. I'm going to go down to. Um, um, well, let's see, not the British Museum, yeah, not the British Library, but uh, a smaller. Library or maybe even newspaper board. I'm going to try to. I've got forty in, in library use. I'm going to try to get some information on the husband. On the husband? Yeah. From the library. Okay. Well, um, or, or, or the or or the well, just the newspaper things. Right. Say, right. Can, first of all, I just started out like what? I probably his firm construction project stuff like that. Let me get a little right. more information. Then maybe mm -hmm. we can get the big. Big wigs here in on this and try to get uh, some more information on him. I I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm good enough to get too much information on on him. But I can at least get the stuff that's pretty obvious okay. public record stuff. So yeah, um, go ahead and give me library. Yes. Oh, twelve. Okay. Twelve. Um, um, it's just a uh, let's see, library use. Just a hard. Okay, so you're 
uh, sort of doing some digging, um, and then you know you're looking. You know, just say that you remember that the husband's name was um, Peter, and mm -hmm. you're looking for Peter Sargent, and like the um, you you saw that he did all of this construction stuff. Yeah, and I and you may have some of the stuff like I. Uh, I mean, he had pictures of some of the stuff there. So, okay, he had did work on this is so building, you know. So that's I can be mm -hmm. I should be able to tie figure out uh, tie it in that way. Yeah. Um. So there is. Um. It looks like he is. Uh. Um. There's a construction company. Um. And then he has his name attached to it. Um. And uh, sure enough, the, the Blackwall Tunnel Project, but mm -hmm. also um, the the East Greenwich Gas Works. The um, there is a um, <laughs> there is a project to build a crematorium at St. John's Cathedral. <laughs> so maybe. Um, but it's like he's he's uh, if you got a glance at all these like news articles that were on Dr. Fletcher's kitchen table, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. like everywhere there's like these body parts showing up. It's like he's there, or his his construction company is there. Mm. And maybe it's just me, but I'm thinking the uh, name of the tunnel project. Uh, it's coming up way too often. Yeah. And it's like a mega project. It's like mm -hmm. a massive, massive project. Um, but um, is it okay if we, like, that's kind of, it's actually kind of a good stop. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can we put All a minute right. there and then, sorry, I'm sure, just going yeah. to, yeah, yeah, you don't, you don't look like you feel very good. 